Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and today I have a baby shipper for you. So I had purchased three paintings my last order and I've put myself on an allowance now so I'm gonna have to be really really good which isn't very easy for me but this is part of a three-piece order and so I'm just doing these videos separately so we can kind of focus on each painting because they all deserve their own attention. So this one is a new one that I've just started seeing. I'm not sure if it's a new design, but I'm pretty sure it is. And this one's called Dreamy Alleyway. Um, it is fabulous and it is only a 24 by 30 centimeter, which is very manageable. So I love the smaller ones and I really want to start one of the smaller ones just to kind of do a time frame on how long it would take me to paint it. I've got so many works in progress that I feel guilty doing that, but I feel like I want to do that. I want to just start one of these and do it from start to finish and see how long it takes overall. But let's look at this piece. Now, if you're not familiar with the shipper paintings, be sure to go watch my other videos on shippers. The very first one I ever did, I was so impressed that I was like speechless during the video, which anybody who knows me knows, knows that rarely ever happens. <laughs> But it's just amazing. They are amazing kits with fabulous paint. And you're, you're painting on a board, so you have options on how you want to frame it. I mean, okay, I'm not going to say anymore. That's it. You guys can watch those other videos. And I would appreciate you watching those other videos and making sure you give me a thumbs up on this one and those videos. But let's see what we've got inside. So we have 24 luscious paints, which I'll talk about in a minute. Yes, I've already swatched them. And the contents are always the same in a shipper kit. There's no issues with consistency here. You're always going to get your number stickers. Whoops. Your a paintbrush, which I've taken out and been using. An advertisement that tells you what other paintings this company has, which I'm going to tell you, grab your Sharpie and start circling because there's so many in here that are just beautiful. And even if they're not like... the the cartoony ones you see on some of the websites, they're more artsy and they're just, I don't know, like oh, gorgeous. All right, anyway. And then there's instruction booklet and this is where my paints were. Um, and so I've already opened it up obviously and taken those out. And here is our painting. Now their paintings come on a board, but it's a thick matte board. So it is a great quality. And, and I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. You can clear gesso these. If you clear gesso it, just be prepared that as soon as the gesso dries to the touch, put something in between like maybe some parchment paper or something like that. I'm using the adhesive peel off backing from something I had just recently done a video on. And I'm placing that in between and putting books on top or the boxes of shipper paintings on top. And that is making sure it stays flat. When these warp, they warp very little. Like, you know, it's not even barely a curve, but that's only if they warp at all. So a thin layer of clear gesso makes the paints and these kits sing. I mean, like, it's just beautiful together. So you don't have to gesso it, but I was painting without it and I didn't like it as much until I put the clear gesso on and then I was like, yeah, that's the ticket. So that is what I recommend. So let's check out the paints because you know that's my favorite part. Anything colorful. So the palette is like beautiful neutrals. Gorgeous palette. Uh, this one is mostly peachy colors and golden yellows. And then you kind of go from your reds, your oranges, your greens. So a lot of greens in this one. And then some of the more like teal blues. And our palette is gorgeous. So, Fabulous Paints, again, another kit with great colors. This one's got all these greens in it. So, these paintings that I have all through my studio, all these works in progress that I didn't finish because the paints were kind of like poo-poo, or the ones that I didn't finish just because, you know, I ran out of time. If I have dried paint, if I have a color that is just not covering at all, these paints are what I'm gonna to turn to for a while. 
So I've, I've got my Artezas on backup too. So I, I, I know that I can come up with a color with the Arteza set because there's 60 colors in that. But after I'm done with these kits, I'm telling you guys, I'm saving every single one of these paints and I'm going to use them for other projects because the paints are just incredible. The only one on this whole thing that looked kind of streaky was this number eight. And I mean, it, it, you know, it could be uh, semi-opaque to opaque, but it's only because when I'm doing these swatches, I'm working pretty fast and I'm not really being careful and I'm not really stirring up the paints like I would if I was actually gonna paint on my canvas. So there are a few things that make a difference in the swatching, but the swatches, they were, the paints were as fabulous as always. So another great kit with another great set of paints. So that's it for today, you guys. And if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up on this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel and please go join me on Patreon and on the Facebook group and all that fun stuff. And I will see you back soon.